Dana Creates, my wife's channel. Today we are working together to clean the Dyson vacuum. We love the Dyson vacuum. We're not sponsored by them, but we spent years, every year we'd buy a new vacuum because it stopped sucking um, and stopped working. And then we saved up and got a Dyson and they're amazing. We've now had a crazy number of years, but they're super easy to maintain. And actually we kind of fight over who can vacuum because we love it. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna show you how to uh, empty the canister and then also how to uh, clean it because it's important to do that. So, let's do it. So, you just unclick it from the vacuum and it's really a nice simple lever. You just push it down and it drops the bottom out. So I don't want dust going everywhere, but... And then you just shake it a bunch and it just kind of comes out. We have a lot of girls in this house, so there's a lot of hair, but it just dumps right out. I sometimes, if there's a lot of hair still hanging on, I'll take the canister off like that, and I'll use this to kind of scrape hair out, but it just dumped right out. It's nice. So, what we'll do is we'll set aside this for now, because the one thing you want to clean out is the top filter. And different, uh, see, there's some hair. <laughs> uh, I joke around that if I were to take the hair from uh, the vacuum and from brushes, I could make a cool little Ewok outfit or something for Halloween. But anyways, this is the, the filter. Uh, other vacuums have like a cone filter. If it has this little water emblem on it, it means you can wash it, uh, run it underwater. The rest of everything, like these, this part here, you don't run underwater. Um, you don't run it underwater. And this part, you can run underwater. So we'll clean this out. You can just see gunk gets in there. I actually think half the stuff in the bottom is because we uh, sucked up a little bit of water at one point, I think in the garage or something. And uh, it just makes that fine dust turn into like clay. So anyways, let's wash this. So you don't need to use uh, soaps or anything. In fact, you might not, I think they tell you not to use soap. But basically, it's just a filter and it gets stuff fuzzies in there. And this just cleans it out. We should do this more often than what we do. But, you know, life happens. How often do you cook it? I think they say to do it every three months. Um, I'll be honest with you. We do it once a year, probably. Um, but yeah, it just you can see the dirty water. I don't know if you can quite see it, but they're just dirty water. It's a filter. They're just getting that sand and that gunk out. I'm using warm water. Now, if you live in Arizona or someplace like that, um, these probably dry out really fast. Because the key is you don't want to put it back in your vacuum wet. Otherwise, this will turn into like a clay brick with all the dust. Um, here in Washington, where it's pretty, uh, hum not humid, but it's just wet, things mold, you just gotta be more careful. So you just wanna get as much water out of it as possible, and you want to let this dry. Come on, Ashley, come on in. You wanna let this dry uh, before you put it back in the vacuum. So a good 24 hours, something like that. Uh, like I said, if you're in Arizona, hot place, probably dries out pretty fast. Um, you gonna be a little helper? So this part, a lot of times you think plastic can go in the dishwasher. This, I think the thing is lots of plastics can't take heat. I don't know. But all you need to do with this is, again, warm water, maybe a little scrubby brush. You wanna scrub a little bit? Okay, so it's just this dust, and like I said, ours got a little bit more gunky because we had uh, backing up water. We should have cleaned it out right away, but life happens. So anyways, just kind of clean it up here. Okay, so we cleaned 
it up. I'm gonna set it up to dry. I'm gonna put it over there. Cool. So then the next thing is, this thing is just really dusty. And um, I, what sometimes I've done in the past is we have an air compressor. So I'll just take it and like spray it out. It's really kind of billowy clouds and stuff like that. But not everyone's got an air compressor. So all you need to do is a towel. Uh, I'm gonna use paper towel here. And you just wipe it off. Maybe a little slightly damp, nothing big. Just wipe it out. Get kind of the built up dust going on. Yeah. So you can see these little holes in here and there's stuff that gets in there. Uh, that's where an air compressor really helps. Uh, but a little elbow grease and it'll come out. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because these things, they keep sucking stuff up all the time. They're awesome. So simple as that. And all you have to do once everything dries, is put the, the washable filter on top, close it, take the canister, hook it on here, pop it up, plug it back in your vacuum, we're good to go. Super easy. Dyson's, this is Dyson 25. I know they've got newer models, but they all operate pretty much the same. Only the thing that changes is maybe the filters. But otherwise, they are super awesome vacuums. Again, we're not sponsored, but we just really like our, our Dyson. We use it in all our cleaning videos. Um, they're great, so it's worth saving up for them. So anyways, thanks for watching. We've got other cleaning videos in which we'll uh, use the Dyson. But uh, thanks. Please subscribe and uh, click the little bell button so you'll see all the other fun videos my wife has on the channel. Bye.